Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Many viewers have asked me to shoot uh, a non-Newtonian fluid many people call oobleck, which is a mixture of cornstarch and water. A lot of kids play with this and it's a really neat uh, kind of scientific experiment and a plaything that demonstrates how some fluids actually become thicker when you put them under stress. But I want to show you this little sequence here, how I got it inside the balloon. You can put almost anything inside a balloon with this uh, method here. But today we're going to shoot it with a 22 long rifle, hollow point, and round nose. All right, hit her. Oh, nice. Non-Newtonian fluids change their viscosity when they're put under stress. So if you hit it with something, it becomes hard and when you let it rest, it becomes very liquidy. If we drop it, then you can see how it becomes rock hard and then it becomes very elastic after it uh, isn't under so much stress. And now we'll drop it 12 feet off of a ladder. I put a plastic tray there which is nice and smooth and there's no sharp points that the balloon would, would snag on and, and pop. But this is a good demonstration on how it behaves under stress, uh, under a pretty uh, intense impact. Next I'll throw it as hard as I can, or as nearly as hard as I can. And as a comparison, this is a balloon just full of water. We see a little deformation in this one and a little bouncing, but uh, still it hit really solidly. Now water, of course, is a Newtonian fluid, demonstrating the normal properties of a liquid. The viscosity doesn't change under pressure at all. So is it possible that this can actually stop a bullet? Or what is it gonna look like upon impact? We got two different bullets here, a hollow point and a solid point, both CCI, little different velocities on each one. So let's see what they'll do. Well, it definitely did not stop the bullet. It continued on through the milk carton, blowing the milk carton apart and into the wooden block behind it. Now, I made these balloons about three or four days ago and that's not a good idea to store it because this stuff becomes really rotten and stinky. And when I shot this thing, it actually sprayed on me. Next up is the slower, heavier, solid point or round nose bullet. Now the first shot was a hollow point which is uh, designed to mushroom out and cause a lot more damage. Now this round nose you can see just bored a hole through it without as much um, explosive effect. I actually thought there was a good possibility that, that this would actually stop one of these bullets if not both of them. With our test with the giant gummy bear I guess you get a sense that almost anything will stop it, especially since a gummy bear in its own right is a non-Newtonian fluid too. Even though we didn't really have any real uh, surprising results, uh, I still wanted to do this simply because so many people had wanted to see it. Anyway, I hope you guys thought this was interesting still. Uh, definitely want to thank my friend Jason at work who specifically wrote this song for me and uh, hopefully I can feature more of his music in later videos.